Hello, 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 hello. Hi everyone. So this is our third episode of our series English in English on our channel on our channel English with its beta. As I promised all of you, this exercise is all about training your ears. If I want to learn English to understand what people say, I need to train my ears, train my ears every day in order to be familiar, to get familiar understanding the words, the English language, the vocabulary, the expressions, the accent, etc. So I come with this episode. I come with this episode in order to talk about some topics in English so you can hear Uh, not necessarily watch. You can hear, you can listen, you can listen to these videos while you're in the kitchen, while you're in the car, on transport, on your bed, anywhere you want. I just want you to take it and try to train your ears. You can close even your eyes. No subtitle, nothing in English, nothing in Arabic. And another point, if you do not get anything, if you do not understand all of what I'm saying, or one word in a sentence, or one sentence in three sentences. It means if you get, for example, 110% of, of, of the whole thing, it is fine. Next time you will have 15, and then 20, and then 25. That's all. There's some important notes. First of all, sometimes when I speak, you will see me going fast. Sometimes I slow down. And sometimes I balance the words between fast and slow. Why? Because I want to adapt this to all your levels. Here on our channel, we have some uh, beginners, some they are in the intermediate level, and some they are, they have some high, high advanced or even advanced level. Okay? So don't worry. Try to focus with me. If you have time, you can watch this video more than once. More than once. You can watch it several times during the day, during the night, etc. Right. Today, I will talk about an exercise in English. So I will talk about learning English in English. Okay? There is a very famous exercise and I will dedicate a, another video to explain it. Uh, in details, it's called it's called jam jam. G, give me a pin, give me a pin. Hold on a second. It's called jam. I will talk about it in details. Jam stands for J mean stands for just a here a m here minute. It's called just a minute. What is what's this jam? It's all about practicing English in just one minute exercise. It means I will put the watch for one minute and I will try to speak English about anything. Let's imagine that you bought the stopwatch. You click start and you will let it count for a minute. You will speak about, let's say, about summer or about What's your plan for today? What are you going to do today? For example, I let's let's do it together. You click on start, stop watch in just a minute. Are you holding? Uh, one, two, three. Let's go. Today I woke up in the morning, I went to the shower, I took my shower, and then I prepared myself to brush my teeth. After that, I when to pray, Al-Fajr prayer. I get dressed because I need to go to work. I'm working as a project manager and I don't like to have my breakfast at home. I just take a coffee and then leave. I take the metro or I take the tram or I take the bus or I have my own car to drive to work. When I arrive in the morning, I take another coffee with my colleagues. Huh? I take um, um, uh, another coffee with my manager, with my boss, with my project manager, etc. And we discuss about our day. 
So now it was the minute is over. We have to, we have talked, we have talked for one minute in English. I talked about what would I do it, uh, during my day or let's say in the morning until I get to my work. You can do the same thing to talk about anything you want, about any subject. What are you going to, to, to cook today? What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Um, um, what are you planning to study? What are you planning to buy? Who would you like to visit? Etc. Put this to watch and talk for a minute about any subject that you want. Now, you see, during this video, I have talked quite slowly because I want you to understand this concept, the exercise jam, just a minute a day in English. Now, after watching this video, take your stopwatch from your mobile, for example, sit it for a minute and speak about any topic. If you stop, it doesn't matter. Search for another word. Look for another word. If you didn't know one verb or one um, a noun or one expression, it doesn't matter. Look for another one and continue the minute. Try to do it every day at least once. Try to do it at least once a day. At least once a day. During, during, my, during my speech now, I say several expressions. I want you to use them. I want you to use them in your English. I say it once per day. Once per day. Once per day. Once per month. Once per week. Okay? So I want you to exercise this. And if you want, you can comment this video saying, how was your training doing this exercise? Tell us, did you do it or not? How many seconds? Did you do it once a day? Twice a day? Uh, what topic did you talk about? Write in a comment, how was your jam today? Just a minute today. I'll see you in the next video, English in English, in episode number four. I want you to comment in English. I don't want to see any other comment in any other language. Just comments in English. Write in English. Even if you make some mistakes, it doesn't matter. Try to listen, to watch this video more than once a day. Even you can watch it now and one in the evening. And then you practice, do the jam exercise. Write a comment in English and write me how much did you get from this video? Was it 10%, 20%, 50%, 100%? What are the new expressions that you have learned from this video? Comment it down and tell me what do you think about these, this series uh, with this English in English and talk to you soon in another episode number four. Have a good day everyone and do not forget to like this video, share with your friends and the comment is important. Bye.